house. Yes. Yes. That's it. Reverencing his presence in the house. Yes.
and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests mm -hmm. with an S. Let your requests. That's right. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Right. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> Be made known to God. Mm -hmm. And the peace of God which passes all understanding. Amen. My God, Jesus. Shall keep. Yes, Lord. Somebody say, shall keep. Shall, shall keep. keep. Uh -huh. Aha. Yeah. Ha. Your hearts yeah, Lord. and minds through Christ Jesus. Yes. Finally, brethren, Whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be, yes, my God. Any virtue, mm -hmm. and if there be any praise, think on these things. Say <coughs> not pause and calmly think on that. Look to your neighbor, one of them at least, <laughs> and say, come what may. Come come what may. may. Look to your other neighbor now, and tell them, come what may. Come, come what may. may. Let it come. Hallelujah. <laughs> come what may. Hallelujah, Jesus. We just celebrated one of the most memorable events in history. Resurrection Sunday. Amen. God, I thank you. Commemorating the suffering, death, burial, and resurrection of our Savior Amen. and our peace giver. Amen. He's our peace giver. Yes, he is. Hallelujah, Jesus. But yet, and I tried to find something that would go along with the Resurrection Sunday from last week so that we could, you know, keep kind of marinating on that. But the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. brought me to the scripture for us to examine it a little bit closer because he wants us to get something. He wouldn't let me get away from it because I really tried to find something in the Gospels. But he took me over here to this letter. Saints, in this world, things are going to happen. It's called life. Things are going to happen. Amen. And there's some things that we can't do anything about. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. And since we have to navigate through life, God, by the leading of the Holy Ghost, inspired Paul to pen this letter to the Philippians. Mm -hmm. And we know that God led him to do it because the Bible says that all scripture, all scripture, yeah. Is given by inspiration of God. That's right. Amen. So we know God inspired him to write this letter to the Philippians. It wasn't That's on right. his own. That's right. He was inspired. That's right. Hallelujah. So this letter to the Philippians and to us today, and then God is telling us, be careful. For Nothing. 
Amen? So let us examine, amen, and take a little closer look at what this is saying, what the Holy Ghost is trying to get us to, to understand. This word careful, and you know me now, because I take us to school, right? Amen, to break down some things. This word careful means, amen, marina. M-E-R, I, M as in Mary, and it's silent. N as in Nancy, A, marina. Amen? And it means to divide in thought. That's the Greek word for careful. Mm -hmm. It means to divide in thought. Amen. And so, it is closely connected to the word merizo. M-E-R-I-Z-O. Merizo. And that word means to draw in a different direction. So you, now you got a word, amen, meaning draw in a different direction, and one that's talking about divide in thought. Amen? And so there's another word, and it is pronounced mer in nozo. And it's M-E-R-I-M-N-A-O. And all of this uh, is, is saying right here to take thought. Now you have dividing thought. Then you have one saying to draw in a different direction. And then you have one that says to take thought. And all of, this, all of these words, all of these Greek words and meanings, and they come from this word, careful. And the scripture says, be careful for nothing. So what it's saying to get all together is, to take thought is to keep a watch. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. To keep an interest. Uh -huh. To keep looking at the situation. To keep a guard. To keep guarding the matter. We're guarding the matter. The situations, the circumstances that come up in our life, we're guarding it by keep looking at it. Amen. To keep a watch, keep an interest in it. Until, amen, it divides us from the faith of God and draws us into another or different direction. Amen. Mm. My God. My God. Did you just hear that? Uh, I gave you the breakdown of the meaning so you can understand why he says, be careful for nothing. Because what he's doing is, is that we are keeping a watch over situations and circumstances that come into our life and that is causing us to go a different direction away from God's work. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. Amen. That's right. That's right. That's good. Oh, Jesus. My God. So we never turn loose our situations. We keep looking until, until anxiety sets in, <laughs> panic sets in, fear comes, distress comes, and we fall apart, nervous, frantic, to the point where we can't get no sleep. That's right. right. Sickness comes upon us. Amen. Frustration takes over. And we make our lives and other people's lives around us miserable because we got a situation. Amen. Right. Amen. 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 <laughs> My God. This is deep. Yeah, yeah. I was like, whoo, God, what? <laughs> Jesus. So the scriptures instruct us not. To be careful for nothing. Don't let no circumstance or situation turn us from trusting God and our faith in God. Amen. Amen. Yes. See, when you get really deep into these yeah, scriptures, yeah. the Bible says study to show yourself approved. When you just don't take it for face value on just the top of the surface and you go digging, and you find out what this is really saying, then it's so 
situation. Well, we keep looking at it, looking at it, bringing it out, talking about it. Let it come around in our minds. Every time something happens, we think about this situation all over again. It's telling us that we keep guard. We're keeping our interest. Right. We're keeping that thing alive. Right. Instead right. of killing it. My God. My God. God. The scripture says, be careful for nothing. Amen. This word, nothing. May days. Yes. M A Y. I'm sorry, M E D E I S, but it's pronounced May days. M A Y D A C E. May days. And it means not even one. All right. All right. <laughs> not even one. Yes. Not a possibility. Yes. That's right. Nothing. That's right. Anything that has no significant weight, no spiritual weight, no spiritual significance, no eternal richness, no sizable contribution to your eternal life or purpose in life. Amen. Should you get one ounce of right. right. thought? That's right. That's right. That's right. Woo! That's right. My God. Not even one. That's what that one word means. Not one. Not even possibility. <laughs> ah! Jesus. Because when we give thought, when we give energy, when we give, amen, uh, significance to this, we give weight to the devil. That's right. right. That's right. Uh. Oh, that's good. We give weight to the weapon yeah. of the devil. Yeah. He uses frustration. Yeah. He uses the situations and circumstances that come in our lives. And then to draw us away. Yeah. Draw you away from your faith in the word. Yeah. What did the word say about that thing? That's right. But when we keep looking at it, yeah. when we Jesus was concerned about was the fact that people 
That's right. Mm-hmm. Amen. Oh my That's God. Right. Oh God. Amen. That's oh right. Lord. Amen. He's talking this to them as though he's already dead. That's right. Amen. I bequeath this to you. That's right. right.
you know, is he there? You know, because I'm still waiting on this other thing 20 years ago that they came up yet. So I wanted to do the healing the first time, so wash it up right now because I'm still waiting on this one. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. But the inspired word says to pray. Right. Yeah. Hallelujah. So let me get back to this word. Amen. That says nothing, not one thing, not no possibility. Amen. No spiritual significance, no eternal richness, whatever to your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. When our peace has been disrupted by a circumstance of life, mm -hmm. we have been compromised. That's right. Amen. When our peace is disrupted, we have been compromised. Mm -hmm. That's like, amen, uh, what the police say when their game plan has been found out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Come on, somebody. Right. Hallelujah. <laughs> and, and, and so it's been compromised. Amen. And, and then and then they, their, their cover is blown. Mm -hmm. You know, you're watching the TV. Come on, somebody. Mm -hmm. I'm watching CIS and all that. <laughs> <laughs> and they, they get their cover blown. Right, right, right. Amen. And so so when the peace is disrupted, yes. we've been compromised. That's right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Hallelujah. But God wants us. Amen. To know that today, you don't have to be compromised. That's right. Mm -hmm. All you gotta do is pray. That's right. Yes. right. Pray. Yes. Pray. Pray. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. My God. The fact. Uh, my God, Hallelujah. Jesus. The fact that God has invited us to come into His presence. The fact that He said that He would never leave us or forsake us. He would be with us even to the end of the world. Amen. The fact that he said, when I call, when you call, I will answer. Amen. The fact that he said, cast all your cares upon him because he cared for us. The fact that, that Psalms 34, amen, 15 says, the eyes of the Lord are toward the uncompromisingly righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The fact that verse 17 says, when the righteous cry out for help, the Lord hears and delivers them out of their distress and trouble. The fact that verse 19 says, many evils confront the consistently righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of the The fact because of these facts, my sister, my brother, because of these facts, we ought not to lose heart. We got to hold on to God's unchanging hands. Because of these facts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Help is on the way. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No weapon formed against no us shall prosper. That's yes. right. You gotta understand that today. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. So, and everything by prayer. Let's look at this. By everything. And in everything by prayer and petition. The Amplified says, by prayer and petition, definite requests. Yes. Amen. Don't go into prayer with unbelief. Right. Amen. Amen. Don't go into prayer thinking, well, I hope he hears me. I hope he's there. I hope he's not tied up somewhere with somebody else's problems. You can't go in there with no hope. My God. The Bible says, now faith is Amen. the substance of things hoped for. Yes. Amen. The evidence of things not seen. The Bible says, without faith, it's impossible to please God. The Bible says, a double-minded man is unstable in all of his ways. That's right. So you can't go into prayer with a hope. That's all right. You gotta go into prayer with a no. That's it. That's it. That's it. I know my God lives. I know my God is able. He's able to do exceedingly above. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. My God. Strong and fit. Yeah. I'm in the world before I get Saturday. But on Sunday, I'm in the church. Come on. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, amen, mm -hmm. that, amen, mm -hmm. when a man comes to God, amen, mm -hmm. all things are new. Mm -hmm. All right. Amen. What's the scripture, Pastor? It says all things. Come new. Come new. What's the scripture? Second Corinthians 5. Wait a second. Therefore, in Christ. That's right. All right. Okay. Okay. So, so, so what I'm getting at. Okay. So, so, so what I'm getting at. Y'all know the scripture. Yeah. Do you know it? Right. I said, so what I'm getting at. Y'all know the scripture. So, amen. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. So, when you are still walking in the flesh, you still want just the way I am. Uh, I ain't changed yet. Give excuses and all that. Hallelujah, somebody. Then, amen, you are compromising. The Bible says to the uncompromising, I bring that up, amen, because the Bible says the uncompromising righteous, his ears are open to their cry. So if you call yourself a saint and you think of yourself as a saint, don't compromise your holy life right. to live like the world That's and right. act like the world That's and do right. like the world say do because you are not being righteous and you're not walking in a holy manner because then you're wondering how come your prayers ain't answered. That's right. All right, All right. All right. now. No, no, no. I'm just right. telling the truth. All right. That's, That's right. why some people don't want to come to church because they, they don't want the truth because it'll set them free. That's and they don't want to be free right now. Right. <laughs> but anyhow, <laughs> at least when I was uh, backslidden, I didn't want to go to church because I knew if I came to church, it was all over. God would get me and I'm going to be in church for the rest of my life. So I stayed out for three years. So I was like, holy ghost. But he came and got me. And this is where I'm at now today. I believe Jesus. But I stayed out three good years. Uh -huh. But when he got ready to talk to me, he did. Did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Amen. Yes, he did. Amen. So what I'm saying is, is that we can't compromise our life because then we wonder how come our prayers ain't answered. How come God is he still ten years uh, behind and he brought my answer? Well, are you compromising? Are you compromising in your righteous, holy living that God told you to live as a saint? Or are you a saint yet? Maybe you're not a saint yet. So we have to do the word. When we bring our prayers to God, and I know some folks don't like hearing all this kind of stuff, but let me tell you something. You want to be blessed. Yeah. You want your prayers answered. Yeah. You need God to come to your rescue. Yeah. Then you got to do what God said do. Yeah. 
Yeah. Shoot it. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot it. Yeah. Shoot it. Amen. Assassinate him. That's right. Assassinate the works of the devil. That's right. That's right. And you got to first go pray. That's, That's right. right. Amen. That's right. That's right. Amen. Is that all right, Pastor? Yeah. You got to go. You got to pray. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, hallelujah. So this life and this life, we're going to have, amen, situations. But God wants us to master his word. Mm -hmm. Master the word, people of God. Master the word. Hallelujah, Jesus. Amen. Get into prayer and let your request be made known to God with thanksgiving. Okay. Amen. Amen. Confess the word and bind the devil. That's right. Hallelujah. Because let me tell you something. Like Reverend Jones yeah. and Minister uh, Franklin, in their craft and things that they do in the world because of their job, you know, they carry guns. Mm -hmm. They got to stay trained. Mm -hmm. yeah. I said they got to stay trained. Come on, that's right. Right. Come on. That's because they got to stay on top of being uh, uh, physically fit and know how to shoot. Do you know how to shoot? That's right. Come on now. You know, That's true. Because, they, because they know they can face the enemy at any time. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. My God, yes, Lord. You're right. Do you know that you face the enemy at any time? Amen. You got to be ready to shoot. <laughs> So you got to go to prayer, stay in prayer. Right. Because you got to be ready to shoot. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. Oh, God. Y'all ain't getting me. Okay, I'm going to get me. Y'all ain't getting me. God, my God, Jesus. Hallelujah, my God, Jesus. I'm going to quit. You look. <laughs>